Aquarios, this is your first month reading from May the 1st to the 15th. I hope everyone is having a good month so far. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. It doesn't check your moon and rising because you could be in that energy as well. Just a reminder, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and just leave the rest, okay? Um, just pulling some cards for you here. Each other a lot of the same cards as well. Okay. Let me just give it a second with your energy here. Um, I see a switching, uh, switching of jobs. So some of you might be switching jobs right now, changing jobs, getting um, a promotion, um, or um, going back to school, thinking about um, just switching up the field you're in as well. I'm just kind of getting that energy kind of heavy around you. Maybe it's in the same field, but I just feel like you're going to be um, almost switching or moving on because we do have the Page of Pentacles here, um, which is something that we're growing or nurturing. It's like planting the seeds and seeing what grows. Um, the thing about this page here is the page kind of can see um, what can become of this. It's almost like a, um, a mag or not imaginary, but it's like, um, you know, you can see the potential of something um, here. So I feel like there's a new idea, a new job here, um, something where you see the potential of, maybe you're just like feeling like, you know what, I might be really good at this, or maybe want to start looking into this new job here, because what it seems like we're leaving one job behind with this Ace of Pentacles reversed for another here. Um, but again, maybe you're leaving your work right now to go back to school. Whatever it is for you here that you are kind of leaving one thing behind and moving on to the next. I feel like this page of pentacles being upright is just telling you that things are going to be really hopeful um, for you, Leo, in this kind of um, energy. It's just going to be like, yeah, we're, we're ready to go after something. We're ready for like a little bit of a change here. I think when we make this change, things will be coming in pretty quick for you. That's what all about what the Eight of Wands is all about is kind of forward moving and things coming in fast for you. You. Um, we have the six of uh, pentacles coming in right after which is um, charitable energy or giving back to others um, so some of you are maybe doing a career shift where you're kind of um, feeling about that uh, or feeling that energy of giving back to other people or sharing your knowledge about something it could also be um, energy of uh, I'm getting energy of like grants as well so some of you might be getting help or money to kind of start this maybe a new project um, new direction um, here so again this could be your energy of wanting to help other people or someone else coming here to help out a little bit financially here maybe to help you through um, this kind of transitional period or if you're going back to going to school or going back to school getting grants or, or things like that um, so definitely some something's going to come here to assist you or help you kind of um, on this new path or your energy is just like you know what I kind of want to help more people or I want to start um, working with people in a way maybe some of you are going into um, you know nonprofit or things like that as well here you're kind of feeling more helpful um, but lots of helpful energy around you here Leo um, to kind of guide you through this or more money coming in as well here to people to just give you things because they believe in you um, I see that kind of happening for you as well in these two weeks. Um, we do have the Queen of Cups reversed, which is kind of like cold energy here. Um, it's someone that's kind of cut off to their emotions, someone that's not really talking to themselves or um, being kind of in a nurturing nature. So what is this kind of non-nature energy? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Strength card um, in reverse, and then we also have um, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's feeling the Strength card is Leo energy, and when it's in reverse, it means we're kind of living in fear. Um, instead of having strength to kind of move past situations or move through um, transitions or move through things here, we're letting fear control us. Um, a little bit or fear has too much kind of weight here. We kind of um, fear that we won't be strong enough to do something, maybe strong enough to see this through, um, strong enough to change um, 
careers, to get this new job, to work on this here. There's a lot of um, underlining fear around you and also the way you um, maybe talk to yourself with this Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is um, the nurturer, it's the motherly energy. And you know, I always see the Queen of Cups as a mother kind of tending, um, you know, to their baby, you know, they're just kind of caring there. They give them affirmations, they give them how much love, um, they give them tons of love here. So you might be dealing with a water sign who is maybe not really um, giving you that energy or this is just you not really giving it to yourself right so we got to really watch um, how and what energy we are giving to ourselves here how we are talking to ourselves how are we talking to the things that we do here um, you know um, what is actually my voice talking to me and what is actually just fear talking to me because it's weird because I really do think um, when we kind of get the energy to look at our thoughts as not always truth but look at some of them as um, uh, but die oh, what am I trying to say here not see our thoughts as truth but see our thoughts as a thought and then assess if it is true or not so when fear comes in and says you're not good enough to do this you know it's like well how do you know how like I, you know you assess that thought and you're instead of thinking no you're right i'm not good enough to do this you assess the thought and you go well who says i'm not i haven't tried it yet you know it, it's it's kind of like that countering of yourself here because it just um with this wheel of fortune in reverse here it just seems like there is some kind of um spiraling motion involved with that with um, about how we talk to ourselves or letting fear win i don't want you to kind of get in the spiral here i want you to kind of send out um positive energy and vibrations to yourself here um with this kind of strength card in reverse King of Cups coming out on the other side here. Yeah, get to a place of kind of more emotional stability here, especially when we're going through these transitions. If we're kind of emotionally stable, if we're emotionally good here, um, that means we'll be able to kind of, um, we'll kind of ride any wave is what the analogy I kind of want to do is, you know, it's like, no, I know that I can do this. I can ride this wave, you know, um, because my emotion is kind of such in a good place right now. Now I'm becoming that person that does analyze my own thoughts. Now I'm that person that doesn't give so much weight to fear, that gives so much um, restriction to the to that kind of energy, to really believe in myself here and, and nurture myself and care for myself and, and give me that love and attention like a new like a mother would give kind of their child here with this King of Cups. Again, there might be a partnership here where you're feeling one person's emotionally cut off, one person um, is in their emotions, but I see this kind of line here as more of like an evolution um, of telling you to regulate your emotions here, um, regulate your stress, regulate your fear, regulate your anxiety, because um, that is going to be the key here. That's going to be the key to kind of your success or keeping on the right path um, in this energy. Get yourself kind of emotionally in lined in these two weeks. What's this in reverse? Okay, so we have the judgment in reverse, which means error and judgment here. We have the emperor reversed, which is um, Aries energy, which is overly controlling or overbearing. Um, this person is a dictator. This person is a person that brings in a lot of um, almost bossy kind of authority. We have the fool card reversed and we have the five of pentacles. I'm just going to feel this kind of energy here. With the Fool card in reverse and with this Emperor here, um, Leo is what I'm kind of feeling um, with this energy is we're making um, an error in judgment on how to um, look at or process life. It's feeling like you're kind of making the wrong judgment and you're feeling like, well, I need to always be in control. Everything, you know, I need to do this, A, B, C, D, E. Um, F, I need to control everything. Every outcome has to be exactly the way that I wanted it to. But really, life doesn't work like that, right? Really, life doesn't um, work when you are just so controlled on what exactly your outcome has to be of each, um, each situation. There's not a point of um, freedom there. Um, there's not an energy of... Um, of 
exploration, of wonder, of um, joy. And that's what this full card is really feeling for me here, um, popping out, is that we're just scared of that in a way. We're scared to be like, you know, maybe I'm just going to figure things out as they come. Or having that more of that ease is like terrifying to us. We're just kind of like, what do you mean I don't have full control of this situation? I'm supposed to have full control. I should be exactly the way that things are going. Everything should be in my control. And it's kind of that can kind of control freak energy here. But I feel like whatever this energy is here at the bottom row, it feels, especially with this five of pentacles, is they're saying like the way we're perceiving things, where we're having an error in judgment, where how we are seeing life is not really adding to our success here. We're adding kind of more to our lack in life or feeling like left out of the cold because we're not embracing things. We're not like embracing um, the new adventures or embracing the new in general here because we're so kind of fixed on our ways or we're so, um, you know, being like, this I have to control this outcome and if, if that doesn't work out for me um then I'm going to kind of lose my stuff like lose my sh uh, I said stuff but I want to say shit lose my shit here because you know that's not exactly the way I wanted it to go they're telling you to ease a bit ease off here you know just trust that things will work out for you um it's a real seems like it's a real perspective change for you here happening in these two weeks. They need you to calm, um, calm down a little bit to stop trying to control everything because life will always throw things um, at you that you haven't, you didn't see coming, right? Um, so stop perpetuating this idea of because something that didn't go your way or something didn't go the way you wanted it, that um, that that's a lose or that 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 means that um, you didn't work hard enough or that um you know you're not good enough you know stop spiraling that when something didn't work out for us just be like okay that door closed we move on to the next and i think that's what spirit is trying to tell you as well be a little bit more open be a little bit more adventurous be like oh this door closed but maybe this one's going to open for me well that door is opening or the energy is this way i'm going to move there Stop kind of putting yourself in a box and stop trying to have everything try to figure it out right now, Leo. Um, you know, look at like, that was my card sliding across the thing. But don't have everything try to figure out right now, Leo. Like, you don't need to. It's just going to give you so much more of like a good headspace. Like, it's just going to give you such, um, it's just going to clear so much of that clutter that's going on right now, this overthinking, this um, judging yourself, these like negative thoughts like I was talking about before here. It's just going to release all that. You're going to see how much more um, peaceful, how much more joyous your life is going to be here when you stop trying to control everything. Um, when you stop trying to, um, you know, um, stop putting so much pressure on yourself. Let go of that pressure here, Leo. Yeah, Sun in Reverse. Even though things might not feel like they're happy now, the Sun in Reverse is still a good card. It means you might not be able to see it now, but there's happiness down the way for you, happiness down the line. Um, so you just got to trust that and believe that because right now we're kind of focusing more on loss here and we're not really focusing on what can be new, what can be exciting for us. some energy oracle after this but we have the three of pentacles we have the um seven of wands reversed and we have the five of cups reversed it seems like there's like some healing right now um happening for you because with this three of pentacles in reverse the three of pentacles in reverse is kind of all about um teamwork or or um, having a common goal um to a project here and i'm trying to feel if this is like on earth level or spiritual level um it just feels like what there's this team dynamic that you weren't really kind of standing up for yourself or you had a maybe a hard time standing up um, to people or um, you know putting your foot down or putting boundaries where it has to do with this team dynamic or this people that you are working with um, we have a hard time and we we're having some weak boundaries there where we weren't standing up for ourselves um, you know where we weren't having that kind of initiative to be like this is a boundary and I don't know if this is relationship I don't know if this is work here but it seems like you're healing that you're kind of healing this almost like um, people pleaser kind of energy and coming more into your own kind of your own um, identity here 
um, you're not overthinking things so much, not making sure everyone, you know, is okay here, Leo. Um, I know that's not usually the trait of Leo, but I just, I'm just getting that kind of energy here where it almost feels like you were um, kind of being people pleasing in a situation or um, not really standing up for your own boundaries. But again, with the Five of Cups here, I think um, that energy is going to be healed here. So if that is something that maybe you would like in the past, I feel like that's going to change. For Leo, please. So the energy oracle we got here was adjacent possibilities. Read to you, many unconsidered options. Sometimes it's a force of habit to keep you stuck and unaware of potential healthier and happier choices at hand. Yet every moment you give the option to open a different, um, sorry, to open a different door and take a different course, whether it's in your own thoughts, behaviors, or major life decisions. Unlike the indecision card, which indicates confusion um, about which course to take, the adjacent possibilities card is here to tell you that you have many options. So we're saying here, stop limiting yourself, right? Stop trying to control everything here. As you consider the many, choice, uh, many life choices available, you free more and more empowered and motivated to make the decision that brings happiness and strength and uh, forward motion. In terms of your goal, this card could also indicate unknown or previously unknown considered ideas. Perhaps there's a marketing tool that you haven't thought of, a connection that you haven't tapped into, or an entirely different direction that would be more suited to you. Be conscious, be aware, be flexible, and willing to make new and different action now. And that's what we're talking about the bottom line here of, of having to try to control things or trying to be like, no, this is exactly my path forward. This is exactly um, what I have to do here, Leo. Um, you're not opening yourself to the other doors, which maybe have, you know, more doors open. You, you just don't know, right? So just follow your instincts. Follow um, when you are feeling kind of emotionally stable in yourself. It will always lead you to the right direction here. We also have deep cellular healing. Um, this is our star seed oracle, so I'll just read it out to you. Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. Your body knows how to heal and healing is your natural state. Physical, emotional disharmony can be a reflection of how the world, inner or outer, has been out of alignment. If you're suffering from a mystery, um, uh, from a mystery or a chronic illness, don't allow yourself to think that you've done something wrong. That's this energy of letting those fear talk, right? That the, the kind of um, energy that, you know, um, we're not strong enough or, or you know, we, we made a wrong judgment somewhere and this is why everything's happened to me like this. Today, it's difficult to navigate our health. If this card has made its way to you, you're being called to focus on your healing in practical ways, to prioritize your health, to be kind and tender to your miraculous body. That's what we're talking about with this uh, King of Cups energy, right? to give yourself grounding and care that you need, to put your body first, to nourish yourself that you would a newborn baby. And like back to that newborn baby, right? Of the Queen of Cups reverse. It's like nurture ourselves like that kind of newborn energy. And I see that's why they are giving me this card for that statement there. To nourish yourself as you would a newborn baby, to treat yourself with tender care. You may be called to switch things up in your body or emotional well-being to call the team of helpers to support you in navigating any challenges that you may be experiencing emotionally. Arcturians are a galactic group of beings who have mastered deep cellular and emotional healing. They want you to know that it's possible to feel, the, uh, to feel vibrant in your body and well in your skin, to have your cells return to effervescence and vitality, to find calmness and contentedness, to have soothed nervous system and tranquil heart. And that's what the focus is of these two weeks, is just to nourish yourself, you know? You know, sit back and like really kind of deconstruct these thoughts that you're having here or this, this need to maybe control here, Leo, of every outcome and just get back to yourself. Take care of yourself. Nourish yourself. Love yourself. That's the key in these two weeks for you, Leo. So that was your first month reading. I hope it helped.